Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And one of the things about the minimum requirements when you think about it is interesting. So that CPU requirement, eight generation or later Intel or Ryzen 2 or better. You look at that and you're wondering how did they come to this conclusion? So in the blog post, Microsoft says, oh, well, you know, we focused on that change because we uh, thought that it didn't work that well on lower hardware. The problem is, I have one problem with the way that they say this. And a lot of you, for example, have, and I think it's probably one of the most popular generations right now, for example, for processors, the Intel 7th Gen is still widely used everywhere. And honestly, an i5 or i7 on the seventh generation is fast and works great. So when you look at the requirements and you're wondering, well, you know, why do you need all of these fancy requirements for Windows? Um, you know, a lot of people focus on the TPM chip. TPM chip, well, if they want to use it for security reasons, there might be a reason for it might and it depends what you do actually because uh, I know they're more cloud focused and and those you know encryption keys and security with all of that TPM might be used to ensure that everything's safe but I mean 7 gen that can run easily run um, you know Windows 11 I you know tweaked that build 21996 for my um, for one of my mini PCs, that is a fifth generation, actually. It was working okay. It was working fine. I didn't see any lag. Actually, it was faster than Windows 10 is. So, up to what point that recommendation or that requirement is really important? Um, I have a hard time thinking it is. And maybe that's why Microsoft removed, in a lot of its blog posts, by the way, those minimum requirements information and started kind of saying since yesterday while well, we're looking with the insiders at the possibility of and that's where I'm understanding that they're like okay people are complaining maybe if we'd go to the seventh generation for example at least add one generation um, I mean most of these computers are not that old in general and uh, it's hard to understand in today's technology that a you know four-year-old computer for example couldn't run windows 11 um when windows 10 runs on 10 year old hardware you know um definitely i agree with there has a, to be a limit and there has to be a place where you're you're gonna say no you guys are off and that has to do with there is older generations you know like the fifth generation okay it worked fine but you got to remember that it's not just a cpu thing it's also the fact that older generation has older hardware of all kinds including graphics adapter including you know the motherboard itself the way it works the ram the speed of the memory and all of that so when you block a certain generation you block also a certain generation of hardware around it maybe they could relax it a little bit and add you know at least seventh some say well about six um i don't know where the cutoff should be honestly but maybe they could at least include seventh and and we'll see for the rest but um you know it's not fixed in stone i think it's something that we'll have to wait um until it's officially released if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching